Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How yeah. about you? Uh, great, fantastic, great, fantastic. More relaxed than yesterday. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> yeah, so glad to see you guys. Glad to see you, everybody. Over there, so we are nine participants right now. I guess the the switch will uh, be able today. The the sound. I hope so. Yesterday I tried to fix it, and I guess I fixed it. Let me share the uh, the presentation and see if you are able to uh, listen to the to the audios, please. Uh, were you able to listen to this uh, the audios or no? Yes. The audios. Were you were you able? Se escucharon los audios. Uh, hello. No. no? Ah, yesterday I did something and uh, he, he went to, well. Ah, the thing is that I... Unit 6. What's wrong with it? Page 36, Exercise 2. What about Perspectives. Now? Are you able to listen Part to a. the audios? Yes. 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 Describe yes. complaints okay, on a call-in radio show. So now we got Check it. what you think each person should do. Okay, something that I really forgot yesterday, which is really important, I promise, uh, I promise to you that next week I will be sending worksheets and uh, extra exercises that you can work on it. But um, uh, now, so I would like you to take a, a notebook and a pen or something to write with, and then start taking notes of the, of the and doing the exercises, just the answers, okay? So yesterday the class was a kind of uh, and a little rush. Um, now we're going to work uh, easily and slow. Okay, explaining so explaining everything, especially the topics that are are very important: vocabulary, um, uh, grammar, the, or grammar forms that we that are very important that we use in English in order to communicate. Okay, I so uh, today is uh, what day is today? What day is today? Tuesday. Hey, today Tuesday. is Tuesday. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, Aha, Sarita. Uh, Tuesday. Tuesday's third. Okay, October third, two thousand twenty-three. Okay, if you say when you speak, I'll say the year, so you can say 2023. But most of the time we say 2023. So uh, yesterday, uh, remind me a little bit the topic. Uh, now that we can listen the perspective. So we were uh, uh, working with uh, a little bit with uh, this topic. What was What is the topic about?
What is the topic about? The complaints. Okay, good. Describing problems, complain, uh, complain about something that is written, okay? Something that is not really good. So that's that's the thing that we are working um, yesterday. We're going to work and do the exercises because uh, yesterday I was not very sure about it. If we, I would say we, we did the exercises. So we're going to spend like 15, 20 minutes on this one. And then the, the part of that we miss, but don't worry. Today we're going to finish with the first uh, period what the company has. So describing problems, in this case, we are using past participle as adjectives. Which form of the verb is that? It's form one, verb one, verb two, or verb three. Yesterday you say it. Three. It's three. verb yeah, three, teacher. Verb three, exactly. So remember that when we say verb three, um, it's mean the past participle. When we say verb two, it is? Past. Yeah, the simple past. And we say when we say uh, verb one, it, we refer to present. present, the present, the simple present, exactly. So let's listen now that uh, we are able to listen over here. Page 37, exercise three, grammar focus. Describing problems one. With past participles as adjectives. The jacket lining is torn. The tabletop is damaged. That vase is chipped. My pants are stained. Her sunglasses are a little scratched. The sink is leaking. Exception. Is leaking is a present continuous form. With nouns. It has a tear in it. There's a hole in it. There is some damage on the top. There is a chip in it. They have a stain on them. There are a few scratches on them. It has a leak. Okay, so uh, when you we use the past participle as adjective, remember that we use the form of the verb to be. What is the form of the verb to be? What is the form of the verb to be? Is is are, are. Um, and and um. and I'm on this case also, but with this kind of complaints or describing problems, of course we don't use an. Why do we uh, do we not use an? Or how do we use am? With with uh, which subject? The first person. With, yes, with I, with the subject pronoun I, refer to a person. In this case, we're referring to the city. So we use, uh, uh, we use, uh, we use uh, the word order over here is the subject, the form of B, plus the, pa the uh, verb three. So uh, the past participle of the verb. Why is not leaking? Uh, we use uh, we use uh, a leak. It doesn't take a past participle. Why do you think? Can we use it with that, or can we not use it with that? What is the reason? Remember that you can write it on the chat. Please use the chat. Hello, good morning. See, you know. Oh, okay, okay, thank you very much for letting me know. Um, uh huh. Because leak, uh, I'll give you that. Because leak, it does not take the verb three, so it takes only the ing. And remember that uh, with nouns, we say it has a tear on it. So, for example, let's say that this is a shirt. And what is a tear? This one. Is this a tear? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Yes. It has a tear. The shirt, it has a tear on it. Okay. And there is a tear. There is, oh, 
by the way, remember that on here, you can say there is some damage or you can use there are a few, but there is, we use it with singular or plural? Singular. With singular, singular. Mm -hmm. with singular. Yes, there is a TV on, uh, on the shelf. Uh, there is a, a lamp, okay? And there is a lamp, okay? So, um, but we are complaining, for example, uh, what can I say? Oh, the, the, the uh, elephant, toy elephant that is over there is, it has a chip. So that's why, that's why. So there is a tear, there are some damage on it. There is a chip in it. And there, there they have a stain. What is an stain? Let's suppose that this, uh -huh. what is an stain? Mancha. Mancha. Yes, something, a, a, a little spot on the clothes. That's an stain. Okay, for example, maybe my shirt. Oh, let's say that this has coffee. So if there is a coffee stain over there, okay? So exactly. And there are a few scratches on it. It has a thing. I think I have something over here. Well, the, the, there has the bird, the past participle. We already see it. Oh, sorry. And I gave you other examples. Uh, I'll give you other examples. For example, we say past participles as adjectives. What is it? La primera, what is, what is the first one? The purse is damaged. Thank you, Francisco. The purse is damaged. It may be it's uh, it's all it's be, it's damaged because it's all or something happened, etc. And uh, Carla Rene, and what is the second one? The teacher is stained. Ah, uh, exactly. The teacher is stained. Okay, so stained uh, over there. It has a little spot. And uh, Marlene, Elizabeth, what is the next one? The car is scratched. Is that very common on the car? On the cars? Is that yes? yes that's that's very common. Mike has many scratches, so <laughs> especially from the students. No, I guess the students love me, but I'm not sure about it. <laughs> okay. And uh, hey, let me see who else. Julio Cesar, good good evening. How are you? Hey, good what is evening. the good what, what is the next one? What happened with the pants? Uh excuse me. What happened with the pants? Are the examples that you have over there? Uh, the pants are, are torn. Yes, the pants are torn. So, so uh, there, there is a big problem with the pants. And Jenny, Carolina, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Uh, and what happened with that? What's wrong with the plane plate? The plate is chipped. Uh, chip it like someone uh, told yesterday yes i i guess it was it was jorge it was you that it's like uh, you know scratchado astillado yeah i look for it in another dictionary and it's like that and jorge alberto good good evening how are you good evening teacher I and and what happened with the tab uh jorge the tab is leaking yeah, so like a cup, like when you got coffee, for example, this morning I was I was changing the water, the the water uh, bottle. I don't know how to call it, and I I realized that they was leaking a lot, and it was it was supposed to not to because it was new, but it was like leaking a lot, so I had to change it. Okay, those are the things with the um, the the past participle as adjective. And you know, uh, because I want you to do the exercises to write it. And uh, the nouns, uh, let's see. Hey, Daniel, how are you? 
And the process damage, another, another way that we can say that. And uh, with nouns. Uh, Daniel, are you able to listen to me? Can you hear me, teacher? Uh -huh. We say that the purse is damaged. That's one way. And the another way that we can say the same thing. Mm -hmm. In the nose is... Uh -huh, with the there, nose. There is some damage on the leather. Yes. Are we saying the same, almost the same thing, or are we saying something different? The meaning is the same, or we or are we saying something different? We mean the same. Yeah, the same. it keeps the meaning is the same, teacher. Yes, it keeps the same connotation. So even though using past participles, or we say it with a noun, it keeps it says the, the same connotation. Different words though but the same connotation. Like the t-shirt has a stain on it. It's the same thing as the t-shirt is stained. Uh, let's see who I'm missing. Uh, Sara Elizabeth, Sara Elisa. Uh, what about another way that we can say the car is scratched? There is a scratch on it. There's, there is an, a scratch on it. So it doesn't change the meaning. That's what I want you to uh, notice, guys. Okay, yesterday, could you please uh, be honest? Did we do this exercise or you just uh, pass like that? I mean, we, not you. Could, could you, could you uh, I'll give you five minutes to do it, please. For example, number one, the tablecloth is then very clean. It's a stain. What is the correct one over there? It's stained. It's stained. We are saying the same thing. The tablecloth, the thing that I put it over there, isn't very clean. It's stained. Because someone dropped the coffee, the soda, the wine. The wine. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> I know the wine. So, okay, could you please do the others? I'll give you like like four or five minutes. Write it in your, in your notebook. Only the answers, guys. I like to work with worksheets uh, because of the time that I have now, so I was uh, not able, but I, you'll get it, guys, along with the audios. Because the important thing is that you that will learn. I think this is the uh, the first exercise that you find you will find on the platform. Twenty seven, good. Hey teacher, I have a question. Can you yes. Me? Okay, in the number three. Uh, sorry, in the number four, what is the meaning of the context when they use the word tear? What's uh, the meaning of that? Number four, the waiter needs a new shirt. The one he's wearing, it may be sustained, it's ripping, so it's maybe a soul, it's not brand new. So that's uh, number four. 
the oh maybe it's a stained, maybe it's old. I don't know. It's not in a good condition. Remember that uh, waiters and cookers or chef. One of the things that you that they need to have it is to work in a very clean environment, clothes and everything. Did I answer your question, Mister? I guess it was Francisco. No, it's, it's me. It's Daniel. Oh, Daniel. Did I answer the did I answer your question? Uh yeah, but uh what is the meaning of the the word tear? Because I am uh, uh, tear. Ah, tear. tear. Oh, let, let's say that this is a shirt or something, and you do this one. Oh, okay, okay. Uh -huh, and you do this one. So I'm tearing the snacking. Look, are you able to see me? Okay, yeah, I, I see. Uh -huh. So I tore the snacking. Yeah, just as I, I have a uh, do uh, a doubt. Uh, yeah, because I I can get that uh, information, but yeah, yeah, so, this is okay. Thank you. Right. Uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. You know, yesterday someone of you uh, told me about the 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 chip at also because and and he, yeah, I was right so. We'll, we can help each other. Okay, guys. So number two, let's check. This says, could we have another water pitcher? That's uh, the one that we make lemonade and everything. This one is? Licking. Licking. Licking, yes. The lemonade is dropping. <laughs> the table, nice. uh, the table looks pretty dirty. The wood is scratched. Is scratched to scratch too. Yeah. Number four. The waiter needs a new shirt. The one he's wearing. It's torn. It's, it's torn. Yes. Okay. It's torn. Mm -hmm. And the one he's wearing. Oh, one of the things that is important, guys, that I always mention to my students is that when we speak, when we speak uh, English and American English, of course, we always use um contractions okay because it sounds more natural accord don't believe me but that's the experts said nowadays okay it looks more natural so that's why and instead of saying he is we say his uh, just an extra information over there and uh, could you bring me another cup of coffee this cup it's it's yeah, and when I drink it, I can get cut to my lips. And the walls really need paint. And the ceiling is damaged. 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 Okay, good. Um, and uh, do you get the idea of using, uh, using uh, uh, describing problems with uh, bird three? The bird to be in bird three? Yeah. Ay, aquí vamos. <laughs> aquí vamos. Okay. So um, there is dust one over there. Now you can, you can uh, let me move the, the, the screen because I have it. Okay. We have some items over there. And a mob, there is an example. And the mock is cheaper. And the other person say, and it's crack it on the side. What is a crack? What is a crack? I, can you give me an example? So it's cheap, it, it means uh, something is wrong. Uh, write, it, uh, write it on the, on the chat. Uh, the one that I did, maybe not. Sometimes I made a mistake. Uh, the word uh, damage. Sometimes I made mistakes. Uh, 
What is a crack, guys? He it says it's crack on the side. Grieta, teacher. Yes, yes. You know, when the, there are air queries or shakes, uh, walls get cracked, it's, uh, streets, uh, roads get cracked. It's, it's a bad example, but uh, so um, so it's, that's happened. That's a grieta. It can be on the, on, the, on the ground, it can be on the floor, or it can be on the walls, or it can be on a, on a, on a cap. Okay, so uh, and what would you say about the pen? A pen is leaking. The pen is leaking. The pen is leaking. Yes, that's terrible, especially if you're wearing a new shirt. Okay, that's terrible. Yeah, the pen is leaking. And let me see the crackers is too when they fell. Yes, the newspaper is broken. Okay, good. Okay, so I'm looking at your message over there. Remember that those are, we are producing the language and there's two way, uh, in, uh, orally and read, in a written way because reading and, and listening, it goes, it goes in, but then you have to say, uh, take it out when you say the things. And, uh, Okay, I'll give you another another like uh, two three minutes uh, for uh, for the this uh, write a, a couple of more questions a sentence maybe two or three. Uh, those are the those are the the bird three. I put it over there. I said leaking, broken, burned, chipped, cracked, dented, scratched, stained. It sound like the uh, it and torn. Let's uh, see. The CD is broken. Good, excellent. And uh, using the word, uh, the bird leaking, which, which iron will you use it? We have a mug, we have a pen, we have a CD, we have a pair of glasses, we have a pair of jeans, and we have a newspaper. What is leaking from the, uh, besides the pen that you already said? Okay, I got five questions. The newspaper is burned. Excellent. The pants is uh the pants, okay, are torn. There is uh la 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 the pants are torn, there is a scratch on the CD, the glasses are strange, good, yes. The pair of glasses are broken. Yeah, and it happened. The pen, uh, the pen is leaking and this and stained. And is stained. Uh -huh. And is stained. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. okay. but, but don't worry, uh, I'm reading over here. You just uh, notice. I will not say uh, the pair of pens uh -huh, are scratched. Okay. Good guys, thank you very much. Let's continue because we have exactly time and I need to finish with this one. Okay, um, people are uh, discussing about some problems. Customers returning and uh, the purchase, uh, what, uh, what they purchase. You know what's, what is porch? K 
Can you, do you understand that word? This one over here? They perch. Comprado. Yes, they, they, they vote. Exactly, they vote. It's to buy, vote, pass. Okay, so let's listen. Now that we can are able to listen to the audio, thanks God. Uh, will the store change it? Yes or no? Please uh, write note. And then we're going to write the problem. Page 38, exercise four, listening. Fair exchange? Part A. Listen to three customers return an item they purchased. What's the problem? Take notes, then complete the chart. One. Can I help you? Yes, I bought this briefcase here last week, but there's something wrong with the lock. I can't get it to close properly. Let me see. Yes, I see what you mean. The lock seems to be jammed or something. No problem. I'll get you another one. Sorry about that. Two. Excuse me. Yes? I wonder if you could take a look at these shoes I bought here. They're pretty new, but they seem to be falling apart. Hmm, let me see. Yes, this doesn't look right. The stitching is coming out. How long did you say you've had them? Only about a month. Here's the receipt. Hmm, yes. Well, let me exchange these for you. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Three. Excuse me. Yes, how can I help you? You see this shirt? I bought it here a few weeks ago, but the first time I washed it, the color changed. It went from bright red to light pink. How did you wash it? Well, I just tossed it into the washing machine with my other clothes. What temperature did you use? I usually wash my clothes in hot water, so I guess hot. Well, did you check the washing instructions? Um, maybe not. Well, you see here on this label? It says wash in cold water only. Uh-huh. So I'm really sorry, but since you didn't follow the washing instructions, I can't really do anything for you. Were you able to get the answers? Or you want me to play it again? The first one, uh, maybe, yes, can I start chaining it? Yeah, the store will change it. And and what was the problem over there if someone has it? Or you can write it on the chat, please. What was the question that you're asking about? Uh, what, what was the pro uh, what was the problem on the first one? On oh, the first one. Oh, mm -hmm. it the, says that uh, let's say that uh, the man bought a briefcase, so the lock is not, uh, he can get, get it to close correctly. Yes, because the lock is jammed, uh, J, uh, J A M. So it's jammed. So it cannot be opened easily. So that's why. That's a, but like, uh, I don't know who said it, uh, oh, the oh, store will, re will replace it. How okay. do you spell them? them? Uh, J A M. They, it's like like, like like a traffic jam. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh -huh. But it's Damn. jammed. It's locked. Uh, it, the lock won't go off easily or will not close easily. That's the same right. word. You you see, you see, guys, we say many things in the same thing. For example, San Salvador, uh, nowadays there are many traffic jams, and we say J A M. And what about number two? The, will the store replace it? Or do you want me to play the audio again? You said the number two. Right? Yes. Yes, number two. Number, you said that if the shoes uh, were replaced, 
It was the shoes. Oh. Yeah, yes, the shoes teacher. Yeah, I am huh? shoes. What was the question do you ask? No, number two, well, I, what did the person is talking about? What uh, item? Ah, a pair. Uh, uh, a pair of shoes. They said pair. that the, they're falling apart. Mm -hmm, exactly. And, the, and will the, the, will the store? Apart. Yes. And, and will the store replace it? Yes. Mm, yes. Yes, yes, also. Yes. Yes, also. And what about number three, guys, in order not to stop too much time over here? My teacher, the third one is uh, uh, has a, correct, uh, a problem with the t-shirt because it changed the color when I put on inside of the washer. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the sales woman don't change because uh, the, the person don't read the instruction to wash. Because yeah. he need use the cold water and the person use hot water or warm water. Yes, good, excellent, bravo, bravo. Yeah, the the store will, the lady won't replace it because uh, the person didn't read the label that is usually over there in your um and your teachers and and the and the and the shirt needs to be uh, yeah it needs to be washed with cold water, not with hot water. Okay, good. And um, everything okay, guys? Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, usually if you have noticed, thank you guys, thank you very much. Remember to use the chat and thank you very much for being uh, using it a lot. Uh, correct, Daniel. Yes, and it was awesome. Okay. And uh, one of the things that is, uh, why do you see conversations before uh, grammar forms? Many of the books, okay? Many of the writers do it like that. Why? They present the grammar forms or the forms that we use when we speak in context. So that's why it's really important that we read this one. Okay, so, and, and we will be working in the breakout rooms, practicing these conversations because I don't want you just to listen. Especially next week, we will have a little bit more time with the, with the, se with the section. Okay, so what is the learning objective over here? You skip and need. Use and keep. Uh huh. Keep, you skip a need with with gerunds, with gerunds and, need. and need with passive infinitives in a conversation about problems. Yes, thank you very much. Beautiful English. Beautiful English. Yes. Uh, what is a gerund? Teach me. What is a gerund? The ing form of a verb. The ing form of the verb, the ing form of the verb, exactly, that's the gerunds, okay? So like endo, ando in Spanish, right? But uh, eh, in English is something a little bit different. It's not too hard to use it. Okay, uh, the conversation is, I forgot to put the instructions of the conversation, but it's between Mrs. Miss Locke, this, this MS, that's a a woman that we don't know if it is single or married or or with. Well, well let's say we don't know if it, the, the lady is single or is married. Mister uh, is, is for a boy and for a man, okay? So the, the conversation is between Miss Locke and Mr. Uh, Warren. Page 38, exercise six. Conversation. It keeps burning. Part A. Listen and practice. Hello? Hello, Ms. Locke. This is Jack Burr. Uh, Mr. Burr? In apartment 305. Oh, yes. What can I do for you? Does your refrigerator need fixing again? No, it's the oven this time. Oh, so what's wrong with it? 
Well, I think the temperature control needs to be adjusted. The oven keeps burning everything I try to cook. Really? Okay. I'll have someone look at it right away. Thanks a lot, Ms. Locke. Uh, by the way, Mr. Burr, are you sure it's the oven and not your cooking? <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> Page 38, listen, exercise. I'm sorry, listen again. Yes, please, teacher. Six, okay. conversation. Please, teacher. It keeps burning. Part A, listen and practice. Hello? Hello, Ms. Locke. This is Jack Burr. Uh, Mr. Burr? In apartment 305. Oh, yes. What can I do for you? Does your refrigerator need fixing again? No, it's the oven this time. Oh, so what's wrong with it? Well, I think the temperature control needs to be adjusted. The oven keeps burning everything I try to cook. Really? Okay, I'll have someone look at it right away. Thanks a lot, Ms. Locke. Uh, by the way, Mr. Burr, are you sure it's the oven and not your cooking? Okay, guys, on the chat, right? What's the problem? What is he complaining about it? On the chat, please. And then I will ask uh, someone to answer in another way. What is the problem? What is he complaining about? Right on the chat. What is what is he complaining about? I got one already. Okay. Someone else. It doesn't matter if you write the same thing. Yeah, he complains about the oven, uh, about the smoke. <laughs> the oven is uh, failing. Yes, the temperature is uh, too high. The, ooh. My, the oven is burning. The oven is burning everything he cooks. Yes, thank you very much. So the problem is, guys, someone? The issues with the oven. Issues with, you know, you're using different words, but at the end, you're saying the same thing. Okay. And what is the lady's, the woman's suggestion? What what did she say about his complaint? What what did she say or what does she say about his complaint? Write it, please. Uh-huh. I haven't got answers about what woman said. Uh, he was sure he was the woman and it's not his cooking. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's uh I uh she's pulling his hair, <laughs> you know, like when you say something like that, he's pulling his hair. His hair, I'm sorry. Uh she asked the cook about the oven, they asked about the refrigerator again. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay, okay, so now look at the conversation and tell me where do you see keep and when do you see need? In which sentences? Someone read the sentence, please. Does yes. your creator need fixing again? Yes, needs to be, uh-huh, the representative needs to, uh, needs fixing again. That's one. Thank you, Julio. Thank you very much. Well done. And there is another one as, as well. This is with the ING. But there is another one. Uh, actually, well, I think the temperature control needs yes. to be adjusted. 
Uh -huh, exactly. That uh, the other to... keeps burning. The, the other keeps burning. One is with the the phone B. I'll explain that one. Uh, with bad participle, and the other is keeps burning. Those are the words. That's why we see conversations in order to be what is coming next. Okay, she think his problem is about the cook. Very well, well done. Thank you very much. Okay, so as I said, the, uh, as we saw over there on the objective, we uh, uh, the conversation introduces uh, this one. Uh, oh, don't don't look at the objective over there. I I didn't change it. But it's here. Keep plus gerund, need plus gerund, and need plus past participle, I believe. Ah, passive infinitive. Let's listen to it. And Page 39, exercise 7, grammar focus. Describing problems 2. Need plus gerund. The oven needs adjusting. The alarm needs fixing. Need plus passive infinitive. It needs to be adjusted. It needs to be fixed. Keep plus gerund. Everything keeps burning. The alarm keeps going off. Okay. What we just saw over there. Let me see if I can explain this one in a very simple way. Okay, so need plus passive infinitive. What is the first sentence that I'm showing over there? Can someone read it? I need to be told the truth. Yeah, the, to be told the truth. What is a passive? We have different forms of passive voice, what we call it over there. So in this case, we are using need plus the infinitive. What is the infinitive? Which one is the, or what is the infinitive word in English? To be. Huh? To yes, be. I, to be, okay. But let's uh, take the word, the verb to be. Let's say to. That's the infinitive in English. And you're right, Hector, and you're right. To be is the infinitive, okay? To work, to jump, to cry, to speak, to learn. That's the infinitive. Uh, the to is the infinitive in English. And every time that we use an infinity to, we must use verb one. But in this case, we use the passive and we do not use is or are. We use the verb as it is, to be. So I need to, to be told, I need to be told the truth. Another, the TV needs to be Fix. fix it, yes, yeah. fix it. Remember that some verbs, the, the, uh, the verb three are the same, okay? So like, um, la, like told, told, uh, put, put, set, set, uh, et cetera. But we are not on that topic yet. Okay, and the other is the screen needs to be adjusted. So, Guys, and and this form uh, need past the past infinity. We use the verb the, the infinity to plus be and a in a base form, not not the changing and verb three. So the TV needs to be adjusted. Let's see the second one, which is I found I investigate about it is need plus gerunds. Remember that you already said that gerund is the ing form of the main verb. So in this case, we say the house needs to be painted. Why do I say the house needs and not need? Huh? 
Ajá. Thank you, the third person. Yes. Yes, thank you. Both of you are right. Because I'm talking about the third singular person. Okay? That's why they say the house needs to be painted. The TV needs fixing. I, sorry. I add to be painted. No, it's to be. The house needs painting. The TV needs fixing. And um, I bet the TV. If I say uh, the screen needs adjusted. If I talk about two TVs, let me go back. What would be the form of the verb need? The two TVs need fixing. Need fixing, exactly. No S, because what you already already said, uh, already said. And the screen needs to be fixing. So that's the thing. Let, uh, if you want to write notes about it, uh, especially those, those, those sentences. And I don't have examples over there, but I can give you uh, a couple in uh, oral form. Uh, keep last year. Everything keeps burning. Uh, the alarm keeps going off. My car keeps making a lot of noise, and it's true. <laughs> it's not under the wheels. <laughs> My car needs uh, keeps uh, making a lot of noise. Yes, Daniel. Yeah, teacher, I I confuse with why need why use needs. Uh, oh. You told because this is the third person, but in the house, uh, what is the case in this in this case? It, it's like uh, we say it. It needs a third okay. single a third singular person. Remember, okay. I, I I said I need you need she needs he okay. needs Hector needs Sarah needs. Okay, uh huh. And, but in and, this case, is it? Or because it's the house. Yeah, it's the house. It, okay. it sort of, uh, one of the things that is uh, we usually study in the on the basic form that uh, that uh, for example uh, we use subject pronouns in order to avoid repetition. So, uh, for example, the house needs painting. Okay. 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 But, but it, if I continue talking about the house, I I can say it needs clean cleaning. It needs re uh, repairing. Okay, that's that's the thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank, thank you, teacher. That's clear. No, no, no. Thank you to you. Thank you to you. It's thank you for asking. That's um, I'm here for. Okay, um, there is a. Let me see. I ha ah yeah. What do you see? What's wrong with that room? Can you write it on the chat, please? We just have a like, like ten more minutes. What's wrong with the room? This is a completely mess. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a mess. It's not my room, eh? Everything is wrong. Teacher. Yeah, everything is wrong. Exactly. For example, the wall. The walls are cracked. Cracked. Uh -huh, cracked. The walls are cracked. Are dirty. What yeah. about the the lamp? What about the lamp? The lamp is broke. Yeah, it's, it's broke. broken. It's broken. Yes, exactly. The lamp is broken. What else? The plant is the... <laughs> it's dying. The plant is dying. It's dying. The oh, it keeps... are dirty. Uh, oh, the clothes there are dirty, yes. Okay, uh, there is not a lot of time. Uh, the room needs to be cleaned. Yes, exactly. The lamp is broken. Good, 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 good. The fan is damaged. The fan is damaged as well. The ceiling fan. Oh, let's put in the ceiling fan. The ceiling fan is damaged. It's broken or something. Okay, uh, there is a, there is a, uh, there has some, Words over there. How you say 
this. Uh, what, Oscar? Uh, the, the upper left corner is um, this one. What can you say about that? Huh? What? The upper it's, left corner is maybe it's wet. Uh, maybe the paint fall down, or maybe oh. it got a leaking over there through the. Uh, it got a leak. A leak? No, a leaking. A leak through the ceiling, maybe. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, could you uh, could you please write some sentences? Only the the answer with this one. For example, the number one says the walls. Uh, the verb over there is paint, and there are two ways. Remember that we can say in English we can say some things in different ways, but I still keep the same connotation. So the walls paint. The example is the walls need to be need painted. To and the other one? The rock need... needs to be cleaned. Uh -huh, needs to be cleaning also. And uh, the walls need to be painted, or you can say the walls need? Painting. Painting, Painting with the ING. Um, if you notice over there, like we were discussing uh, uh, the, why do we say need and no needs? Because we are talking about the walls. Of the house around me there are one two three four four walls because i'm in a room actually and on the living room could you write another examples with the rock please write the sentence with the rock with the windows with the clothes Uh, three, four sentences only, and then uh, you can share it with us on the uh, on the chat. Where can I see the time from the Zoom? Oh, I got answers. The walls need water. Ah, the, the plant needs watering. Yes, the plant is, uh, needs uh, what it causes to dry. The lamp shape needs to be replaced. Good sentence. The plants need to be imaged. The ceilings. Plan needs to be adjusted. Yes, maybe put it over this way. The plan need to be watered. ED. Mm -hmm. The paint line needs watering. Yes. And the clothes needs to be picked up. Yes, good. The ceiling fan needs adjusting. Oh, yes. The floor needs to be clean. The plant needs to be. Hey, thank you very much for being uh, using the, uh, the, the chat. The windows needs to be fixed. Uh, yes, Francisco? Teacher, excuse me. Do you check the list? No, Francisco. Thank you very much. And it's open. Okay. Okay, oh, guys. Hey, teacher, no problem. We are going to stop over here, guys. Good work, guys. Good work. I like the class. To be honest, I'm always honest. We were more calm down than yesterday. <laughs> okay. So let me just uh, please answer uh, in, uh, answer the, in a quick way. If you are there or not, please. Uh, okay. Uh, Ana Ivania? Ana Ivania? Present teacher. 
Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, Daniel Alejandro. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Edgar Fernando Portillo. Edgar. Uh, Eduardo Jose Melgar. Uh, Francisco Antonio. Present, Mr. Thank you. Gabriel Jose. Gabriel Jose. Eh, Giovanni Stanley. Flores. Stanley Flores. No. Eh, Héctor Iván. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Iván Ibrahim. Present, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Janet Carolina Rivera. Present teacher. Good. Eh, Jorge Alberto Rivera Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you. Teacher Giovanni Stanley says in the chat. Ah, okay. Uh, jo Giovanni Stanley is over here. Yes. Okay. And then the Jose Lino. Present teacher. Julio Cesar Campos. Present teacher. Eh, Carla Selena Hernandez. Present teacher. Good. Carla Rene Delgado. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Catherine Lisset Espinosa. Present teacher. Good. Thank you. Eh, Luis Eduardo Méndez. Present teacher. Marlene Elizabeth Valle. Present teacher. Thank you. Melissa Stephanie Linares. Present teacher. Eh, Michelle Beatriz Díaz. Michelle. Okay. Neptali Antonio Mejia. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Alexander Santana. Oscar. Oscar Obdulio. Present. Amador. Present. Rebeca Present. Maria. Thank you. Rebeca Maria Rosales. Eh, Romeo Vladimir Rosales. Present. Eh, Sara El Elisa Belloso. Present. Thank you. Sofía Elizabeth Pérez. Present. Eh, Wendy Paola López. Present teacher. Eh, Xiomara Violeta Salazar. Present. Thank you. And Jenny Carolina Ardón. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. I get excited <laughs> about the class. So remind me always. Bye bye. Good night. Thank Good you night, very everyone. Much. Thank, Thank you, you very teacher. much. Thank tomorrow. You. Bye. 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 Bye.